Vice President Lenny Robredo pushed for legislation raising the minimum age of sexual consent from 12 to 16. Meanwhile, the Marcos and Duterte Carpio tandem formally introduced their initial senatorial lineup. Nel Maribojo will give us the details live. Uh, yes, Nel, good evening. Go ahead. Good evening, Will. Several presidential aspirants have expressed their opinion on various issues in the country. Vice President Lenny Robredo is pushing for the enactment of a law raising the minimum age of consent from 12 to 16 years old. In a statement, Robredo said this is her priority, no matter which angle you view it. She said the 12-year-old age stated in the law is too young. Meanwhile, the Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos and Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte tandem bears their initial list of senatorial candidates. The partial list of the senatorial slate are combinations of incumbent senators and former officials of the government. Manila Mayor Isko Moreno Domagoso attended the launching of Res Bacuna Sabotica. He thanked the private sector who participated in the government's program. Salamat sa ating private sector. May makakatulong na ang national government at local government in putting additional protection sa ating mga kababayan through vaccination. Labor leader Yodi de Guzman expressed his willingness to participate in the presidential debate. In his Twitter post, he said, it's the responsibility of every candidate to present themselves and their platform. However, he said they should be organized by Comelec to level the playing field. Also, Senator Manny Pacquiao is eager to engage his fellow presidential candidates in a series of political debates. In a statement, Pacquiao said the debates will be a perfect forum for him to lay down his plans for the country. Senator Panfilo Lacson seems dismayed in the justice system of the country. In his FB post, he compared the story of the 80-year-old man from Pangasinan who was arrested for allegedly stealing mangoes to a government official whom he said stealing millions of pesos but unjailed and with police escorts. He insists that corrupt officials should be held accountable. Other presidential aspirants have no reported activities. Back to you, Will. Yes, uh, thank you, Nel Maribuhok, reporting live from San Mateo, Rizal.